Department of Justice has been investigating the corruption in the Miami Police Department, and we now have credible intelligence that Captain Conrad Howard was directing these elements in coordination with the cartels. No, I'm not interested in approximately what time. I need to know exactly what time. Do you understand? You know about this? I found out two weeks ago. A press conference, really? I'm sorry about the way you had to find out, but given your closeness... Our closeness? Neither one of y'all would have a job if it wasn't for Captain Howard. Rita, you know this is not true. Honestly, I don't. The investigation has turned up new evidence. Miami law enforcement's been a leaky ship for years now. Witnesses turn up dead, informants disappear. Events appear random until you aggregate them over a period of years, and a pattern emerges. Who is this? Bud Grice, FBI, heading up the JTF on this show. That's who I am. Now, we knew someone was providing intelligence to a cartel moving product into South Florida. We just didn't know who. A cartel banker turned up dead two weeks ago, shot by his girlfriend. They found a phone with Howard's contact on it. Years of communication with the cartel. Account references offshore. Millions in Howard's name. Final piece we needed to nail that dirty motherfucker. Whoa. Bryce. Whoa. Hey. hey, let me holler at you. Um, you know I was with him when he went down, right? Call him dirty one more time. I dare you. We know he had others who were with him. We're gonna find them too. I was with him. Put the cuffs on me right now. I was with him. Mike. Now these motherfuckers think that just because he's dead and can't defend himself, they gonna dump all this shit on him. Burn his legacy, not on my watch. This is Judy Howard, U.S. Marshals. I realize I have no jurisdiction here, but as a professional courtesy, I'd like to request visibility into the sources of the allegations against my father. Judy, we're gonna figure this shit out, all right? How's Callie? How do you think, Mike? We're on the same team here, Judy. Like how we are, Mike. My dad would still be alive if it weren't for your bastard son. Judy. If I ever catch him out on the street, I swear on my father, I will put him down. Come on, come on, man, come on. So what's our next move? They said he was working with the cartel. Let's ask the cartel. How you doing? It's prison. Yeah. Look, we need your help. They're saying that Captain Howard was dirty. Do you know anything about that? How much time I get up for this one? I'm still working on that. This is me telling you that I need you. I need to know if Captain Howard was working with the cartels. No. He was on to the ones that were. So he got greenlit. Wait, no. No, Captain Howard was killed because he was on your mother's hit list. He was added to it. Your people wanted it to look like us. Your people wanted him dead. What you mean, our people? You should be careful. You're playing a game and you don't even know the rules. There's dirty players on your side. That's bullshit. Wait, who? I saw him one time. Can you add him? See? Si. Give me a name. I don't know his name. My mother. She's the one who dealt with him. I knew we should have kept that damn witch alive. Marcus, may she rest in peace. Dude. Hey, boss. Our man on the inside got all of Howard's records in the JTF file. Computers, phones, files, all of it. Well, we know Howard was onto our operation. We just don't know how much he had. We need to make sure we got every trace. That's beautiful. Hey, boss. It's all the paper files. They're clean so far. Two phones had nothing. His office computer was empty. He was careful. But? But his old personal laptop had weak encryption. 
Here we go. Shit, we tripped a failsafe. The fuck do you mean we? Something was sent. To who? Tracing the phone now. What the hell? He's texting us from the other side. No, he's not, Marcus. If you're seeing this, I'm probably dead. Fuck. Fuck me. Before I begin, I want to say one thing. I'm putting you in mortal danger. Boys, we got rats in our walls. But I got to make sure you're my bad boys. The Coke bottle giant is the key. What? Don't trust anybody. What's that? What does that mean? The Coke bottle giant. Fletcher. Oh, shit. These are the guys. You should put a bullet in these motherfuckers. Be done with it once and for all. Lance, I love you. I'd like nothing more than to let you loose on them, but extra dead cops doesn't do us any favors here. Keep them under constant surveillance and see if they make a move. Fletcher's warehouse is right down that alley. Mike, I wasn't even going to tell you this. Ugh. Then don't tell me. I know, you got to hear this. This is big. I can't die. What? I cannot die. Motherfucker, you did a pretty good job of dying at my wedding a couple weeks ago. But I didn't. Watch. Hey, Marcus. Hey! Talk to me. You gotta trust, Mike. Mm -hmm. Trust yourself. Trust the universe. Stop that shit, Marcus. It's not my time, Mike. Oh, okay. So you're saying that if I shoot you in your face, you're saying that you won't die? Fate dictates that you won't shoot me in the face. I'm saying, I'm, I'm saying that you saying that if I shoot you in your face, are you saying you won't die? Fate doesn't deal in hypotheticals, Mike. Foggy! ¿Qué estás haciendo? I'm going to call the police. They're already here, man. Mind your business. Just go to the beach. Stop that shit, Marcus. <laughs> See, you putting your gun away. <laughs> He's putting his gun away. <laughs>